So today we are going to perform our next practical that is the softening point of the bitumen. For performing the softening point of the bitumen, you can refer this code that is the IS 1205-1978. Before moving ahead with the softening point of the bitumen or actual procedure of the softening point of the bitumen, let us understand what is mean by the softening point. Okay. So softening point of the bitumen or the tar, it is the temperature at which the bitumen is going to attain a particular degree of softening. The softening point, it is the temperature at which my bitumen is going to attain a particular degree of a softening. Now how we can find out this softening point? When my sample, when my sample is going to flow through a height of 25 mm. Mm. Keeping my standard polar bitumen sample, they will form through a standard height of a 25 mm and the temperature at which they are falling through the 25 mm height, that point or that temperature is nothing but the softening point of the bitumen. Okay. Now why do I need a softening point of the bitumen? The one thing that it determines, it determines at the temperature at which my bitumen gate softens. Okay. At the same time, depending upon the climatic conditions, okay, wherever my bitumen is going to place or wherever I am going to use my bitumen in a construction, that area or the climatic conditions of that area need to be considered and based on that climatic conditions, we can select whether my vitamin is suitable for that area or that climatic conditions or not. Okay. So this was the a main application. Okay. This was the main application of the softening point. Now, how can I find out the softening point of the any vitamin? Okay. So this is my stage setup. Okay. This is my taste setup. This stage setup is called as a ring and ball apparatus. Okay. This stage setup is called as a ring and ball apparatus. Okay. Now, what are these different parts of this ring and ball apparatus? Okay. So, this is my a thermostat where I can adjust my temperature. So, for this taste method or for finding out the softening point, we need to maintain a 5 degree. Okay. Heating rate of 5 degree per minute. And this is my a knob for adjusting the magnetic stirrer because my water should continuously rotate it so that the temperature of whole water will keep maintained. So we can move our water, we can stir our water with the help of the magnetic stirrer. So this type of the magnetic stirrer is used. Okay, this type of magnetic stirrer which I have kept in the sample. You can see this. This is my water and magnetic stirrer which I have kept. Okay, here I am going to get the temperature. Okay, for measuring the temperature, we have a digital a sensor. This is my sorry. This is my digital sensor. Okay, temperature sensor. With the help of digital temperature sensor, I can measure the temperature. This is my heating element. With the help of heating element, I am going to heat my a sample. Okay, and now this is my a taste setup. Uh, instead here it is fitted with this heating element okay this setup is fitted with this heating element so for your understanding I have taken one more so this is my main holding plate okay this is my holding plate where I am going to keep my these two rings okay these two rings I can keep here okay these two rings I can keep here Okay, so these are the brass rings which are tempered ones. Okay, these two rings are the brass rings which are tempered one. Okay, and these are filled with the bitumen sample. These are going to be filled with the a bitumen sample. And the dimensions of this rings are given. The depth is 6.4 mm. Inner dia of the bottom is 19.9. Sorry, 15.9 mm. Inner dia of the top is 17.5, outer dia is 20.6 mm. So these are the dimension details of this tapered brass rings in which I am going to fill my sample. 
So I have a two a brass rings, one extra brass rings which I have filled with the a bitumen. So this way you can fill with the bitumen. Now these are these are my centering guide rings. Okay, these are my centering guide rings which is having the diameter of 22.3 mm and these are having three studs and these three studs at the center these are having three studs these three studs helps to maintain the center of your ball above your bitumen sample okay and these are my two steel balls okay these are my two steel balls okay having 9.5 mm diameter and approximately a 3.5 gram of weight okay so these are the standard uh, equipment or accessories which we are going to use for the softening point of the bitumen. Now, I think I have explained everything. Okay, let us uh, see what is the procedure. Okay, so if the bitumen softening point is below 80 degrees centigrade, then you should use the water, distilled water that is. A boiled and cooled distilled water that we are going to use if the softening point is below 80 degrees centigrade and, and if my softening point is above 80 degrees centigrade then you should use the glycerin instead of water okay so this is the difference when the softening points are the are different okay now what is the first step first step is to melt your uh, bitumen the sample which you are going to taste melt that bitumen sample from 75 degree to 100 degree centigrade and continuously stir it okay so continuously stir it so that we can remove the air bubbles from the system okay okay after melting the bitumen after melting the bitumen fill these two rings okay you are going to fill the two rings and the after filling you will see like this the excess material, the excess material we are going to square off, okay, using a knife. So you can heat the knife and square off all the excess material from the surface, okay. After making or filling the sample, okay, after filling the sample, let it get cool to the room temperature, okay. Let it get cool to the room temperature or cool down that is sample okay after cooling okay after cooling after cooling you can okay you can place this sample the way i have kept on a ring holder okay these two rings are filled with the bitumen and they are placed on a ring holder just remember that this a distance between these two plate is a 25 mm so when my ball which I am going to keep to hold this when it touches to the surface the temperature corresponding to that point is my a softening point and the minimum height of the water above the sample should be 50 mm the minimum height of the water above the sample should be 50 mm so this is my uh, sample filled and placed on the ring holder okay and as I have told you these are the two guide rings okay these are the two guide rings which i am going to keep on the sample these guide rings help to steel ball to maintain the center okay so they will be placed or they will remain exactly at the center so i have placed a guide ring centering guide ring and above that i have kept my a steel balls okay steel balls are placed okay fine now what we are going to do we are going to uh, place this assembly okay in this glass vessel which is having the magnetic stirrer at the bottom so i am going to place this magnetic stirrer and it is placed above the equipment and then first i will feel with a a distilled water which is boiled and cooled and brought to the temperature of 5 degrees centigrade so starting temperature of this taste setup is a 5 degrees centigrade when 
we are finding out the softening point of the bitumen having the softening point below 80 degrees centigrade if it is a higher than 80 degrees centigrade then we are going to use the glycerin and the start temperature will be a 35 degree centigrade okay so what i'll do I'll, i'm going to place this okay as i told you as i told you above the sample the water level should be at least 50 mm so right now it is not so what i'll do i will feel now i'm going to place this uh, a thermometer this is the digital thermometer inside the water so that we can measure the temperature right then i have adjusted my heating rate to 5 degree the heater is started the magnetic shutter is started now we need to wait until it until the temperature reaches to the softening point okay once it is near to the softening point my vitamin will start flowing okay my vitamin is going to start flowing and we will give the a softening point Now my material has attained a, a some softening, so you can see these balls, okay, the steel balls are bringing my vitamin sample to the uh, downward side, right? So it will touch, the moment it will going to touches, the moment at which temperature it touches, that will be our softening point, okay? Okay, so first ball is touched. So 46. temperature was 46 degree centigrade. So just write down the 46 degree centigrade temperature. Let us wait for the second. It is, the second ball also is touched here and it was 46.6. So average softening point, you can say, I'm going to stop this test. Okay, already my softening point has reached here. So average a softening point is a 46.3. So first ball is reached or touched to the bottom plate at a 46 degree and the second ball reached at 46.6. So average we can say the 46.3 degree centigrade is my a softening point of the Okay, so with this, the, our uh, experiment on the softening point is over. What you can do, you perform one more test and check the repeatability. If the sample results are within a permissible limit, yes, you can quote a particular softening point of that particular. Okay, so thank you, thank you, students. For